Hey guys, Pepperami here, and today we're going to try and do a challenge video. I don't know how well it's going to go, but this is the Pepperex Chicken Tikka Masala, which is available in Iceland in the UK. It is made with the hottest peppers in the world, Pepperex. This product will definitely be a challenge, even to the boldest chili levels. Whilst the product salutes the land of extra hot and spicy, we also care for your safety with the below advice. Proceed with caution. This product may not be suitable for people who are sensitive to spicy foods, peppers, capsaicin. Keep the product out of reach of children and do not feed to children. So this takes seven minutes in the microwave. It contains one serving. It's one serving, 100 grams per... Oh wait, okay. Yeah, one serving. Then, yeah. So the big thing about this is like you've got to be eighteen to buy it. There's no such thing at the till. Uh, there's also the thing of like you get a free liter of milk or a free pint of milk. Once again, no such thing. I brought a couple of these. I should probably be doing this with my glove. Hand, but... Anyway, one of my brothers has tried this. I am. Um, Second in line, he took 45 minutes to get through it. I have some chocolate milk off to the side. This looks evil for a tikka masala. Because you think of a tikka masala, you don't think it's that hot, but I guess with Pepper X in it. Oh, this. <laughs> it's just like I'm in for a bad weekend. I'm trying to get my hair out the way a little bit. Now I've had a little tiny bit of the sauce. And yeah, it's got a kick to it. Decent heat. Like it builds. I think that's the, the thing, but yeah. <laughs> a little bit. It's very hot. That does indeed have a kick to it. Oh boy. Oh, here come the hiccups. <laughs> Already. Je Jesus. I mean, it's good. I think it's going to hurt a lot more coming out. Coming out and it's going in. And it's hurting quite a bit going in. Oh my god, the hiccups are crazy. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> then again, I get hiccups from like non spicy food and it just annoys me. I mean, to be fair, yeah, it's got some heat, but. <coughs> It's not that bad. I do have a bit of the sweat. But yeah, I mean... <gasps> yeah. Ooh. Hey, hiccup and swallowed a hot mouthful in one go. Ooh. I mean, I think back in the day, the atomic vindaloo was a lot hotter. Yeah, this isn't. This isn't too bad. I say, coming out is going to be a different story. My God, the hiccups. Now, now I don't normally do, but eating challenges on this channel. I've never done one before. But here we are. Now last night I did make cheese with Caroline the Reaper and Trinidad Scorpio in it. And uh, it's going to be an interesting Christmas. That's, 
say that. But yeah, this, to be fair, pretty delicious. Now my nose is running a bit. There was definitely heat there, but... Considering I thought my chili tolerance was sh absolutely shot from living in Denmark. This is good. There on the rice definitely helps. Ooh. It's just a lingering, like, constant heat. Obviously it doesn't mellow out because you just keep topping it up. Ooh. How long have we been going? <coughs> Less than six minutes. I mean, for a ready meal, pretty good. Iceland's always pretty good for ready meals. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blow my nose again. It's just like a constant streak. I know I keep saying that, but coming out is gonna be so much more worse. <sighs> it's pretty good though. I think it's just awesome the fact that it's hot because it's just come out of the microwave, so it's painful to eat, as well as spicy. And once you've had quite a bit of it, you just kind of get used to it. I can feel my whole face is hot. Oh, spicy. And they do like a mac and cheese one as well. It's like mac and cheese with chili, like chili con carne. And they didn't have any yesterday. I think this is just new. Yeah, considering how short I thought my uh, heat tolerance was, this isn't bad. Oh, I just got a bum batch. Now, I haven't had any drink or seat in this as well, so bonus points. There's one piece of chicken left. Oh, my nose, though. Oh. I'm very aware of that little spot there that I don't want to wipe on my face. I can't get the chili clouds thing now. I can feel it in my ears. He does like clicking things. If you don't know who Chili Klaus is, awesome Danish guy, does a lot of hot sauce stuff and 
pot food. He clicks his fingers a lot to cope. And one of his things is he can feel it in his ears. Drink, and get that. Ooh. Was a good curry. Gonna survive the burn a little bit. So about 11 minutes, so about 10 minutes for the record, I think. Pacing back and forth in the kitchen. I <sighs> put some wet wipes in the fridge. That is mostly just the back of my throat now, and the pain is the heat. <coughs> the capsaicin. cheese. Now there is no video of this cheese, but to distract me, whew, do a little bit of cheese unpacking. Cheese has two Carolina Reapers, three Trinidad Scorpions, some random crushed chilies, some ancho chili flakes, and some random unlabeled chilies. Now I got part of a gift set with a chili cookbook. Oh. See, the heat is still there. It's got to be like, what, five minutes since I finished? The heat is still there. Now you can see the red staining of this cheesecloth. That is all the chili. Right. Set that to one side. Ooh. I do not recommend eating that on an empty stomach. Okay, 
it's getting me old. But I'm bringing that out. Just give it a quick vinegar spritz because it is wood. So cleaning it properly is a bit awkward. A bit of vinegar is going to kill any fungus or bacteria. Oh, that is a good looking cheese. Look at that. Oh. As I say, that's got two Carolina Reapers, three Trinidad Scorpions, some random other chilies, including random mixed chilies. A nice net to stick over that. Just to stop any beasties or anything getting in. I really need to blow my nose. Right. Whew. Oh, I do apologize. Oh. Yeah, that was the Pepper X Chicken Tikka Masala and the unpacking of the chili cheese. Got something splashed on the net there. Oh. Anyway, see you in the next one.